Oh my god. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at all the major changes in the first Uncharted movie trailer versus the game series. Could you move any slower? I got a bad ankle. Oh, crap! <laughs> Uncharted is a movie that has been stuck in development hell for so long that Mark Wahlberg aged out of the Nathan Drake role and into Victor Sullivan. Are you excited for the Uncharted movie? Who was your number one pick for the live-action Nathan Drake, and why was it Nathan Fillion? Let us know down in the comments. Fellas. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Where is Sully's glorious stash? Sully's Nose Neighbor has been a staple of the series since the first game way back in 2007, and even if the filmmakers are going for an earlier in the timeline approach, Sully's stash has been a part of his look since before he even knew Nate, so its absence is even more noticeable. With Mark Wahlberg even taking to Instagram posting a video of him sporting a stash, it's odd that we don't see it anywhere in the trailer, and I'm more than a little concerned what weird life-altering event they have planned for Sully to make him finally take up his iconic look by film's end. Hashtag Save Sully Stash. Good point. Nate meets Chloe. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. In the video game series, Chloe and Nate's relationship is already very well established. In the movie, however, the filmmakers have decided to introduce Chloe to Nate through Victor Sullivan. While this doesn't seem to dramatically change their relationship so far, Chloe still might betray the treasure hunting duo at some point, based on footage in the trailer, but given her arc in Uncharted 2, this could be just part of a larger scheme she has planned. Nate and Sully's first meeting is completely different. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Sully and Nate's meeting is completely different from Uncharted 3, and seems to be a lot less accidental meeting, and more orchestrated by Sully, given his mention of Sam later in the trailer. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother Sam. In the game, Sully takes on a young Nate as his ward due to happenstance, while in the movie it seems he's deliberately looking for him due to Sully's already established relationship with Sam. No matter the circumstances of their first meeting, the two seem to hit it off instantly, with their banter being reminiscent of the games. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Sully was working with Sam before he knew Nate. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother Sam. Sam is a character who wasn't introduced until Uncharted 4, and never mentioned prior to that entry. In Uncharted 4, it's established that Sully had worked with both Nate and Sam prior to Sam's disappearance. However, it seems the movie is taking a different approach, and this time, Sully and Sam have previously teamed up, and Sully seems to come looking for Nate in order to find Sam, who is either presumed dead, or lost, looking for the treasure. We still don't know who or if anyone is going to play Sam, or if he's just a character who's mentioned driving the plot forward. And even if we don't end up seeing Sam in this movie, it's very likely he could be the driving force of any planned sequel. The difference of the plane sequence. Oh God! Stowaway is one of the standout chapters in Uncharted 3, and the main spectacle piece used in all of the promotional trailers for Uncharted 3, and now also for the Uncharted movie. One of the biggest differences seems to be in the way that Nate ends up flying outside of the plane. In the game, Nate is attacked by one of the henchmen, and the cargo bay door is thrown open, and the henchman attempts to forcibly eject Nate from the plane. Nate pulls a parachute, sending both the henchmen and all of the plane's cargo outside of the plane. In the movie, it seems Chloe might have something to do with Nate's mid-air ejection. Whether it was intentional or accidental remains to be seen. Even the circumstances for Nate ending up free-falling out of the plane are completely different, whereas in the game, Nate's actions actually caused the plane to explode, leaving Nate with no choice but to bail out for his own safety. In the movie, 
someone just throws a car at him. Although it is nice to know that the filmmakers at least paid enough attention to use one of Nate's catchphrases at the perfect moment. Oh, crap. Seriously, where is Sully's stash? This is such an easy win for the filmmakers, I just don't understand how- 